welcome to a fun field event of today's Fauna Through the Lens. Today we have 15 wonderful documentary taken by our young filmmakers. We also have with us our beloved NSA coordinator Jay Sankar sir and association members who have put their efforts to make this event successful. A hearty welcome to them too. Now I invite Jay Sankar sir to say a few words. Thank you, Abhishek. Thank you for putting the event in uh, the form and coordinating it. Also inviting entries from different colleges in the country. A thank you to all the participants who have actively participated and submitted uh, their entries and you'll be sharing your experiences uh, fauna through the lens which is the second day event of this week long wildlife week celebration that the NSA is observing. Uh, thank you for your contributions. Uh, stay tuned for all the activities that you have planned for this week, including the webinars. Uh, do register if you haven't done so yet. Also, uh, look into our social media handle, the NSA followers in the NSA Insta page. We are also on FB. Uh, you can uh, tune into our YouTube channel as well, which has loads of informative videos of all the webinars that we conducted last year. And anything hereafter also will be uploaded, including this event onto the NSA YouTube channel. Uh, kindly go through them, do subscribe them as well. Uh, thank you, Abhishek, over to you. Okay, so let's get started. We'll start with our first participant, that is Ramesh Etti Bhargavi. Uh, she is our MSc student. So let's start with her. Over to you, Bhargavi. Uh, thanks for giving opportunity. Okay, let's share my screen, please. Uh, I believe everybody has the um, permission to share the screen. There's no special provision for organizers, so you can directly go ahead. And their eyes consist of a network of butterfly, one of our favorite flying flower. They bring feeling of joy and happiness, bringing us back to our childhood memories. So there are over 17,500 recorded butterfly species in the whole world. Out of this number, 750 species can found in America. Butterfly belong to Lepidoptera class of insects, which are characterized by their large scaly wings. And among these, cabbage butterfly is commonly found in US. They have back markings at the top of their wings. And coming to monarch butterflies, these are only insect in whole world travels over 2500 times on average in every winter. Whereas the North America monarch is one of the species that has been most severely impacted by recent climate changes with their numbers seeing dip and stripes over the last few years. And butterflies do not taste with tablets like we humans do, but rather the senses located under their feet. A group of butterflies is known as flutter and butterflies can see beyond the ultraviolet spectrum and their eyes consist of a network of nearly 6000 lenses. Yes, do you know what the caterpillar eat after it hatches? Yes, the first thing of a caterpillar eats after it hatches from its cocoon is usually the shell of cocoon itself. The time it takes a caterpillar to evolve into butterfly is usually between 10 to 15 days depending on the particular species. Butterflies are cold-blooded creatures from the most part. Butterflies have long tongues that are shaped like tubes that gives them the ability to soak up food instead of the sipping it. They generally need high energy for flying, so they need to take vector obtained from plants which is mostly sugar. Thank you for the opportunity.
Oh, sorry, it's over. Thank you, thank you, Bhargavi. Over to Abhishek for the next speaker for thank the next you. documentary. Yeah. Okay, so it was a wonderful documentary by Bhargavi. Our next participant is Bhargav. So Bhargav, over to you. Uh, Bhargav, over to you. Yes, Abhishek, am I audible? Yeah, yeah, Bhargav. Go ahead. Yes, yeah, yeah. Is my screen visible? Yes, continue. Bhargo, we cannot hear the audio. Just while sharing the video, you first allow enable the audio. You start sharing again. Oh, I was playing it. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I will do it again. Is it audible now? Hello. Uh, you have shared your video. First, you play your video, Bhargav. Yeah, yeah. Bhargav, I believe the audio is feeble. Uh, can you increase the volume? Sir, can you hear the audio, sir? Uh, I'm sharing it. Okay, the volume is low. Abhishek, uh, am I right? Uh, yes, Bhargav. Your audio is coming, but uh, the voice is low. Uh, yeah, I'm sharing it. Okay, no problem. You continue with it. The audio yeah. is very yeah. low. Okay. Okay. Is it okay now? Yeah, okay, go ahead.
this is why it's perhaps not called Okay, that was a good documentary by Bhargav. Now we will go to our next participant. Uh, she is Janvi. So Janvi, over to you. Um, thank you. I'll be sharing my screen. Is my screen visible? Yes, John, we go ahead. Uh, John, we have you shared your audio like while. Uh, while presenting, while sharing a screen, you have to enable the audio. Have you done that? Just to uh, check just, once again. Just a sec. Yeah. This is Janvi from BSE First. Year. Yes, Janvi, go ahead. And I have presented here in my short video few creatures that we can see around us, especially in a natural habitat where a lot of greenery is available. So I hope you all will like it. Thank you. So thank you, Janvi. That was a wonderful documentary. Now our next participant is Apur. Apur is from a different college. He is a horticulture student in Indra Gandhi Krishi Vishwavidyalaya, Raipur. It's a Indra Gandhi Agri Agriculture University, Raipur. So over to you, Apur. Yes, Abhishek. Thank you for giving me this opportunity. Thank you. 
ओके थैंक यू अपूर दैट वॉज अ वंडरफुल डॉक्यूमेंट्री लॉट ऑफ एनिमल टू सी टूगेदर सो नाई आई वॉन्ट कॉल अपन द नेक्स्ट पार्टिसिपेंट सी इज बसुंद्रा सो बसुंद्रा ओवर टू यू Hello everyone this is Vasundhara Chetri and I'm going to present my screen now just give me 2 minutes um, wait um yeah, is my screen visible Yes, you can go ahead. Okay. Uh, you started your video. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, just, just, just give me, give me, give me two minutes. Uh, uh, share, share, share screen. Okay. Oh, uh, hello. Yes. Um. Yes, your screen is visible. Okay. Uh, player. It's not playing. It's not playing. I'm sorry. I think there's some inconvenience. Um, just just give me two minutes. Could you please uh move on, and I'll just come after two minutes. Sorry. Okay. Okay. Bye. so our next participant is sunita so sunita over to you um i'll be sharing my screen now okay have my screen shared Ah uh, yes, Sunita, but I think you have not uh, enabled the audio. Just to play your video once. Oh, one, one minute. Okay, Sunita. Again, you share your video. Again, you share your screen, and that time you enable the audio. Okay. Am I audible? Uh, is my video audible now? Ah, uh, no, Sunita. Hmm. One minute. ओके सुनीता फर्स्ट यू स्टॉप शेयरिंग या नाउ यू अगेन शेयर नाउ इज इट ऑडिबल Uh, okay sunita you go ahead with the video
This was it. Okay, thank you, Sunita. It was a wonderful video. Lot of animals to see there. And so our next participant is Sahan. So over to you, Sahan. Good evening, everybody. Am I audible? Yes, Sahan, go ahead. Uh, can anybody confirm about the audio in the video? May I know is the sound is audible? Uh, your video we can see, but your sound is not audible. Just you again share it. And that time you enable the audio. Have you done that? Uh, it doesn't ask any option like that. While you click on share now, then you just pay attention. It asks. Stop sharing. Just beside the share your screen. Okay. It is I got it. I got okay. it. Okay, so I'm for being an aesthetic beauty and native of India, peacock is considered as the national bird of India. You may probably see this bird in bird sanctuaries, wildlife safaris, zoological gardens, and maybe also in a thick ecological villages of India, as one such village called Kiramegaladoddi in Chennapatna town near Bengaluru. In this footage, there are three female peacocks, also known as peahens are roaming to have their breakfast in this morning. Generally, these birds are very shy. As you can see in the footage, as I move forward, they are moving away from me and maintaining a maximum possible distance by thinking as I am a threat for them. Generally, male peacocks have long, beautiful feather 
and female don't have it and during mating season male uses its feathers to attract females This documentary is prepared with the intention to celebrate Call of the Wild by National Wildlife Week to celebrate our fauna hosted by Natural Science Association of St Joseph's College Bangalore thank you thank you so much sahan that was a good documentary a wonderful documentary on the our national bird peacock so now we will move to our next participant basundra so basundra go ahead over to you uh, sorry for the inconvenience earlier okay just give me 2 minutes i'm presenting is my um, screen visible yes go ahead Okay. Let me take you to a journey of this beautiful village. Welcome to Paradise. Presenting fauna. Is it audible? I'm sorry. Is it audible? Yeah, yeah, it's audible. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, okay. Can you keep, uh, do one thing? Can you keep your yeah. phone on rotation mode? Okay. You okay. Know, no on the land side. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Hmm. okay it's not hap. Oh, okay. Is Okay. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. It's a beautiful village, and today I'm going to show you what exactly. small yet beautiful place is owned by mango and where i have to trees and plants and flowers this place is so green that it brings me joy whenever i visit it look at it beautiful these are the twin presentation and this document Uh, thank you. Uh, just let me stop presenting. And yes, thank you, everyone. Thank you, Basundra. So now our next participant is Rajhans. Okay, Rajhans, over to you. May audible? Ah, uh, yes, Rajhans, go ahead. 
Yeah, let me just please share my screen now. Uh, I'm not able to actually uh, share it. It is saying you cannot share it during a call. OK, you can share it. Yeah, I'm. Oh, is my screen visible? No, just to try again. Yes, yes, you can share your yeah. player video. Oh, it is saying that I can, I'm unable to share it during the call. Okay, no problem, Rajan. We will come back to you again. So our next participant is now Sneha. Sneha, over to you. Good evening, everyone. I am Sneha D, and I would like to share my experience about the documentary. Uh, before the video. For shooting the documentary, I went to Banirgata National Park. First of all, I was very confused about which animal to choose and what should I do so that I can get a brief topic on my documentary. But then uh, every animal is unique in its own way. But then the animal which attracted my eye was turtle because there were lots of turtles and there were many kinds and you can spot them anywhere as they vary a lot in their age. We can find we can differentiate between the turtle species very easily as they have different colors, bands and shell. Uh, as you can see, they are the, the slowest animals and they are uh, proven to be known very intelligent. I would like to present my video now. Is my screen visible? Yes, Neha, go ahead. Okay, Sneha, while sharing your screen, you have to enable the audio. Just to uh, stop sharing, share it again. And while sharing, just to enable the audio. First, you stop sharing. Uh, is it uh, audible and visible now? Okay, share your video. You enable the video while sharing the uh, video. Uh, you enable the audio. Yes, sir. I did enable the audio, but it looks like the audio is very low. Just let you, me check. Oh no. OK, you stop sharing first. Uh, yes, one. Stop presenting. OK. Now you share your screen and as you will click on the share screen, just beside the share screen to return enable audio, enable their audio. Yes, I did enable that. Okay. 
Now you go again to your video. Uh, that was my video, sir, and I'm um, thank you for uh, you like giving me this opportunity. Thank you, Sneha. Thank you for your documentary, a wonderful documentary on turtles. So uh, now uh, we will go to our next participant. She is Theresa. So Theresa, over to you. Hello everyone. I'm okay, Teresa, go ahead. Your video is visible and audible. You can go ahead. Okay, so we will go to our next participant. Uh, he is Prabhav. So Prabhav, over to you. Yeah, thank you for the opportunity. Am I audible? Yes, Prabhav, go ahead. Yeah, okay. Are you able to see my screen? Oh, uh, hello. Uh, no, Prabhu. You share it again. You have not shared.
Yeah, actually, I'm uh, tapping on share screen and sh uh, showing like share, uh, like share screen. I'm turning on the audio, but uh, it's taking me nowhere. Like, uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, is it visible now? Yeah, yes, Bravo. Go ahead. You can see your screen now. Share your video. Uh, Bravo, again, audio problem. Uh, are you not able to hear the audio? Yes, no audio is coming. You share it again, enable the audio. Okay, okay, one minute, one minute, one minute. First, you stop sharing. Without audio, device. Okay, one minute, one minute. I got a. No, okay. maybe. Is it coming? Uh, no problem. Uh, let me go once again. Yeah. One. Yeah. Try sharing again. Enable the audio. I've enabled the audio. Uh, yeah. Okay. Maybe. Okay, maybe this time, maybe it will work. Uh, is it coming? Uh, no, Prabhu, but you can just talk with this video to share your experience. Yeah, I, have, uh, I have just, it's, it's not, it's only music. I have not uh, added my audio. Mainly okay. the captions are here. Okay, so you can share the but, experience with it. Yeah, go yeah. ahead. Yeah, it's a small documentary of, of the land of Black Buck Star Chapter. So basically, this is of November. Uh, and it basically con uh, contains black box and uh, other raptors, maybe. Yeah, right. You can see on the screen, like, right? and common green too, right? right. It's located in Rajasthan. Uh, uh, is it Kela the bird century? No, no, uh, it's the uh, um, <clears throat> Star Chapa. Okay. Star Chapa is mainly contained black box and uh, raptors. So I've uh, visited uh, like one, two times in a year for raptors and black birds. And many species like bird, I'm a bird lover, so I go for bird photography mostly. It contains mainly like uh, these raptors around in winter time, like now. Maybe. Migratory birds. Around.
These are demosal grains. Yeah. Uh, that's a thank you. Thank you so much, Prabhu. Really a wonderful documentary, a wonderful videography by you. So now I want to call again, Thresa. Are you here? Yes, yes. Okay, over to you. Try sharing again. Is it audible? Yes, a low voice is coming, Tessa. With your video, you can share your experience. Go ahead with that. Yeah, yeah. Audio is coming. That she has chewed up for them. After 12 to 18 days, when the larvae are ready to pupate into other parts, they spin a cap over the top of their cell. And after 12 days, they come out as fully grown balls. Meanwhile, let's see what the river ants are doing. The workers pull together to be an animal during days. Another one to be the least looking of the larvae. Let's see how they do it. Mm -hmm. Some say they eat only small insects. Then, these must be cases of extreme traffic hunting. I didn't know whether the calling had any ingrained to myself, as I didn't see any. The river ants were increasing in population over the next few days, and then I knew certainly that they didn't have an ingrained to and the colony would sadly die over time. Was it audible? Yeah, it was audible. Thank okay, you, Lisa. It was a wonderful documentary by you. So, next we will call upon uh, our next participant, uh, Sis Prerna. Prerna, are you here? Okay, Prerna, are you here? 
Yes, yes. Okay, uh, go ahead. Okay, thank you, Prerna. It was a wonderful documentary. Many different animals to see. So our next participant is now John. John, are you here? Oh, uh, yes, sir. Okay, go ahead, John. Yeah, uh, just two, two seconds, sir. Uh, John, are you sharing your video? Yeah, yeah uh, one second, sir. Uh, I'm unable to screen. Uh, John, you can see an option of screen sharing. It's a white color box with an arrow. Yes, 
Yes, sir. I got okay. it. Uh, okay, click on it. Then enable the audio first, then share a screen. So yeah, can you... yeah, yeah, we can see your video. Okay, so uh, this is uh, pretty much a video about uh, ants and what all uh, happens in that journey. And it, uh, Okay, thank you so much, John, for a documentary. It was a good doc documentary on ants. So uh, now had, our uh, oh yeah, so I had also chosen ants since they're super diverse a group of insects uh, that make a majority of the Earth's biomass, and they have a lot of obstacles in the way, which is it quite interesting. That's it. Uh, yeah, John, uh, that's good. So our last participant is Sumit. Uh, Sumit, over to you. Thank you, Avsik. Yeah. Uh, okay, wait. Uh, is my screen is sharing or? Yeah, yeah, it's visible. Uh, okay. So before I just uh, started a documentary, first I want to say that uh, uh, this documentary totally based on entomology credit course, which I opted last uh, for, in, our, in my first year. And thanks to Jay Sankar sir, who is who is my uh, entomology credit course teacher, who helped me a lot uh, during the courses it's, uh, because uh, I was from botany and uh, it's totally new for me. So. It was totally new for me, but uh, I think I did so many things. So let's start with the documentary. OK, before uh, the documentary, just uh, I didn't put any uh, words in there, so I can share after that documentary, I can share the uh, document file. Uh, what you see in this documentary is totally written on that documentary. Sorry, that PDF file. So yeah. Sumit, you can just speak over. What all you did, how did you go about, if you want to? Uh, so, sir, can I uh, speak after the video? Okay, okay, just tell what you did. Okay, okay, okay. So yes, they'll sir. understand. Yes, sir, yes, sir. So uh, basically, uh, 
we we have this project where we have to put this uh, uh, this is called fruit tray we have to put uh, this tray in the field or, or where wherever you want uh, we put this fruit tray and we have to absorb all the uh, insects uh, uh, flies uh, which can come uh, which come there and uh, uh, how many are there what's their behavior during uh, sorry yeah that's it we have lots of cockroaches here not the matured one but yeah. it's it it was in we saw the fly Uh, and the most uh, and uh, this uh, whole fruit trip uh, uh, project was basically for if we can find any uh, butterfly there so yeah i find one only one butterfly uh, during the whole uh, three day observation So it's second day, and now you can see more ants and more insects here. Uh, yeah, so this is the second day uh, time observation where a lot, you can see the difference between the first day and the second day. There are lots of uh, ants there, lots of uh, um, uh, immature uh, cockroaches there, uh, but uh, there is no any butterfly on the second day. I only observed on the first day. Uh, there are some beetles also. Yeah, there are some, some beetles also. There are some bugs also. Yeah, uh, wait, I can uh, show the PDF file which. Uh, sorry. Uh, see, I did this observation on 6th April and here are the common name butterfly. I got butterfly and cockroaches, beetles, houseflies, bug, and all and these are the orders of all the, in this uh, species uh, and their behavior. Butterfly was at resting uh, position and all the ends moving and cockroaches feeding and all. So this is uh, and the second second day there is no butterfly uh, and all the others uh, bugs and houseflies, beetles and all are there. And they are all feeding. And so this is actually see this is the butterfly. This is all image cockroaches. Here it is fly, and this is the second. See there is one uh, bug is also there. Yeah, thank you. Uh, okay, Sumi, it was a wonderful documentary on a project of entomology. I was also there with you in this uh, credit course, and uh, like uh, you have done the fruit tray, I have also done the uh, mud puddle. Yeah, you, you yeah. did the mud puddle. Yeah. Mud puddle, yeah. It was also, also fantastic. I got yeah. a beetle there. So, okay, with this, all the participants are over, and it was really good to see uh, different insects animals and all a different color a different color of nature here so now i want to over to sri Raksha for the thank you speech uh, over to sir. excuse me sir yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Rajan, sir. Uh, sir yes sir uh, sir can i just try sharing my screen now uh, please please uh, go ahead
so is it uh, audible hello guys my name is uh, yes it is visible and audible coach rajas you can go ahead okay thank you okay thank you sir and today as a part of nsa group competition uh, we are here to make a two minute short documentary on the fauna around us uh, today i am at sangai khel hills and let's see what we can actually find here Sir, uh, am I audible now? Yes, yes. Go ahead. It is good. Yes, sir. I just wanted to just add some few important points. Uh, this is an oriental latrine fly. Uh, everyone, it is uh, important in forensic sciences. It is. It has also been found to cause various public health issues like accidental meiosis, and it also has been found uh, to have its effect on fish and livestock as well. Guys, the insect we see here is a dragonfly. It is uh, quite common in the hilly areas, as where I am right now. So it's it's around noon, and uh, it's the perfect time to spot this insect. So, guys, uh, this is a dragonfly, as we all can see. Few characteristics of them are: they can uh, fly back. They are very extremely fast. they have a lifespan of about a few weeks up to a year and they are one of the most beautiful insects on the planet so guys we are able to see parrots being they are perching on the line of the front panel and it's quite a common sight in urban areas as well but in the rural areas it has a different scenic beauty as well So, guys, as you all can see, it was a very common sparrow uh, alluded on the line of the transformer. Sparrows, as we all know, they are very common. But nowadays, due to increase in air as well as noise pollution and due to increase urbanization and deforestation, they have also been under some threat, which includes change in the physiolo uh, in the physiological changes, like uh, the change in their voice as well, has been reported according to scientific studies. The one you see here is a white green butterfly. We are quite fortunate to be able to see it as we are very rare nowadays. Guys, uh, this is a white winged bird, also known as lump kumi in our. So guys that was the flying cattle egret it has a very important uh, interaction scientifically which i've posted in the last of the video that is it has a commensalism interaction with a cattle where the cattle egret benefits from the cattle as it flushes out insects from the vegetation which might otherwise have been difficult and while the cattle it remains neutral so it is a commensalism interaction and and is a very classical interaction which we all have studied in our 12th standard come forward i think the surrounding sound that you hear is the sound of the insect cicadas which probably lies around the bamboo trees so guys uh, as you all must have been aware that the background sound that we were all hearing was the sound of this insect cicadas it is very uh prominent in the hill areas uh so yeah that's about it so okay let's get moving hey guys so now we have come towards the end of the documentary uh i wish you all enjoyed it as much as i did so yeah that's the that's it for today and all the very best have a nice day So hey guys this is commensalism in life action
Okay, so uh, thank you so much, guys. Now it's uh, done. It's over, I think. Uh, Rajhans, you're from which class? Yes, from. Uh, uh, so I'm uh, from first year microbiology. Microbiology. This is from which place? All the documentary. So I'm uh, from Imphal, Manipur, and this documentary has been from Sangai Thil Hills. Good. Okay. Okay. Thank you. All of you have done a wonderful job. Uh, yes, sir, I just wanted to just add one thing. Sir. Yes, please. So, uh, I thank you very much for providing me this opportunity, and also my special thanks to the senior Abhishek Bhaiya because he has been able to uh, guide all of us throughout. He has been very helpful, especially uh, in all the doubts that we had. So thank you so much, sir, and thank you so much, Bhaiya. Yes, credits to Abhishek. Obviously, he's thank an you, excellent uh, event in charge. Uh, that's why we have this excellent team of the NSA core members. They are an inspiration and model for the juniors to join the NSA team and in the NSA core in years to come. Okay, uh, wonderful documentation done by all the participants. We have to document uh, the biodiversity around us. Uh, you must have been aware of the citizen science concept or the backyard science, uh, the community science, amateur science, in other terms, it's termed. Uh, we have to document because of the anthropogenic pressures and also the natural pressures that are acting upon biodiversity. So before we could lose anything or see something decline in number, it's worthwhile to consider documenting them. In that regard, you have done an excellent job. Nothing less than any national geography or discovery with whatever resources and time you had. So thank you for contributing for the documentary presentation today as part of the call of the wild organized by NSA Department of Zoology St. Joseph's College. After this, um, or I might say now itself, please all of you subscribe the NSA YouTube channel. Only then you will get the updates of your own documentary presentation as a video. So that's a, a request to also follow us on Insta to see what events follow up. Over to Sri Raksha. Good evening, everyone. I'm Sri Raksha from the second year CZBT. I'd like to thank the NSA core team. Uh, Jai Shankar sir and the student in charge Abhishek Mishra for their flawless coordination to conduct this event. I also deliver gratitude to all the participants for their informative documentaries they have submitted and the attendees for attending this amazing event with us. Thank you. Yeah. Also the Department of Zoology members and the management St. Joseph's College for encouraging and supporting us by way of so many association activities. Thank you Abhishek and Sri Raksha for wonderfully coordinating the event. That's all Abhishek, over to you. Okay, thank you sir. Thank you all the participants for participating. Uh, as sir said, uh, subscribe our YouTube channel. Follow us on the social media. We are on Instagram, on Facebook, and also join our Telegram group. So thank you all for joining. It was a wonderful event. Nice with you all. Thank you so much.